Taggle is an interactive visualization technique for visualizing large and complex tables. This video demonstrates Taggle using a dataset about the global AIDS epidemic. Taggle consists of a table view for visualizing the data and a data selection panel for adding and manipulating columns. We can add columns from the data selection panel and reorder them using drag and drop. Rows can be sorted based on a hierarchy of attributes. This is useful when sorting by categories. Ties at the first level can be broken in lower levels. Here, for example, the percent of people knowing they have HIV breaks ties of the sorting by continent. The sorting hierarchy is shown in the data selection panel. The order is indicated by a number next to the sorting and grouping icons. Rows can be grouped based on categories or numerical thresholds. We can also use multiple grouping criteria at the same time. For matrices, we can also group columns. A key feature of Taggle is aggregation. We leverage the grouping to aggregate rows. For aggregates, we show a visualization of the distribution instead of individual data items. We group the countries by continent and level of human development index and aggregate them to gain overview of the group contents. We then expand the top two African groups which show the highest HIV infection rates. Taggle can filter items using brushes in the data selection view. Here we remove continents that do not contain interesting data on infection rates. and filter out countries by the percent of people knowing they have HIV, so that only countries with over 25% remain. A dedicated interface enables us to easily specify various mapping functions. For example, we can invert a mapping so that high values are shown as short bars, or apply a logarithmic scale. The outliers with a high population make the many smaller values almost indistinguishable. To fix this, we change the mapping to a logarithmic scale. Taggle supports multiple visual encodings for each data type. These can be changed for each column individually using separate choices for items and aggregates. Taggle has two layout modes. A detail mode shows every row with labels, but frequently requires scrolling. An overview mode shows as many rows as possible, giving users a good sense of the overall patterns and distributions. Selected items are scaled up to reveal details about the rows. Here we select the countries with the highest HIV infection rates. It can be seen that an outburst of new HIV infections in the 1990s in South African countries resulted in high AIDS-related death rates about a decade later in the 2000s. Taggle supports various ways of combining columns. Stacking enables users to create weighted sums of multiple numerical attributes. Interleaved columns enable easy comparison of multiple attributes. Taggle enables users to combine multiple numerical vectors into a single derived vector attribute with statistical functions such as minimum or maximum. Users can also script their own functions for column combining. Taggle can also impose a categorical column on a numerical column, which colors the marks of the numerical column according to the category's color scheme. Here we color the fertility rate attribute by the level of human development index.
This way, we can see the strong correlation between the two attributes where a low human development index correlates with a higher fertility rate. With these features, Tagle can be used for presentation and exploration alike. Tagle was also designed with scalability in mind. Here, we show a fast forward of a cancer genomics analysis scenario, retracing how our collaborators used Tagle to identify drugs that could be useful for cancer therapy. This was a short introduction to Tagle, a scalable tabular data visualization technique for combining, filtering, and aggregating attributes of a heterogeneous dataset. Thank you for watching our video. A demo version of Tagle is available at tagle.kaleidoapp.org.